the Senate's considering legislation that the House passed to take away federal funds from cities that don't cooperate with federal authorities. Mm -hmm. Do you support that legislation? Well, I, I'll just speak from Wyoming, and my prior background before I had this job was in law enforcement. I think sanctuary cities are not the way to go, and part of the reason is, uh, particularly in rural states like Wyoming, we want an open line of communication between local government, our, our state uh, law enforcement officials, and the, and the federal officials. When you start creating barriers, it not only goes to the issue of immigration or those who uh, may be in the country illegally, it goes to other issues, including you know violence crimes and uh, drug, drugs for two examples. I think law enforcement most effective in this country where we have to remember that priority one is protection, uh, particularly post 9-11 world. I think you, you sh once you start blocking off channels of cooperation between local and state and federal, uh, that uh, ultimately that is a bad way to go for law enforcement and, and, and hurts the effectiveness of each level of law enforcement. And one of the issues now is how long the local police departments or the jails will hold an individual who's in the country illegally after being picked up for some sort of crime or arrested. Do you, the, the uh, police departments in your state, how long do they hold? Uh, the un undocumented immigrants they take in. I don't know the answer to that. I'm sorry, I don't know the answer to that time period. Yeah. Do you think they should hold them until immigration, federal authorities uh, come and, and well, take them yeah, into custody? I mean, I, 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 I mean if, if you're going to take them to custody in the first place, it is for the reason that they are, they are being, there's, they're here in the country illegally. So to hold them for an artificial period of time and then release them, that seems like it's, what's the point? It's just a, it's a cost, and it and it creates, I think, a lot of consternation. You you picked them up, you put them in a holding facility, and now you release them two days later based upon an arbitrary timeline. I don't think that's fish. I don't know what that time frame and again is. How long the time period they are holding them, and I think that probably depends upon ICE's uh, what uh, how much resources they have, but. I don't understand why there would be a policy that we keep them for a couple of days and release them, and then uh, the county next door picks them up and releases them. That doesn't make sense to me. So, yeah. yeah, a lot of cities, I've talked to mayors, they say if it's not a violent crime, they'll just release them, even if they know that they're in the country illegally. They won't even report it to immigration. Yeah, again, I think it's you, you've got to have local, state, and federal law enforcement officer. Once you s s create those silo, hey, we're going to cooperate on these issues, but not those issues, you heard all of law enforcement. So I think that would be a bad way to go. So.